Hello everybody and welcome back to Sweet and Crafty. Mama Z is here and as you see we are back with our original gingerbread man cookie decoration character transformation video. In our two previous episodes we transformed this giant gingerbread man cookie into a Winfred and Sarah Sanderson. Today the star of the show is Mary Sanderson, a famous Salem witch from Hocus Pocus 1 and Hocus Pocus 2. And for this character transformation, we will need the following ingredients. Fondant, frosting, as well as different color food gels to make custom best matching colors for Mary. 10 color burgundy, purplish burgundy, and then peachy color, then we have this copper color and purple for her hair, red and black sparkle gel as well as red and black decorating gels, edible markers, baking tools, variety of candies for decoration, Mary for inspiration, and of course we need this giant gingerbread man cookie. This is not necessary step but I like to have a tray under the cookie and also since this activity can get quite sticky and messy I like to protect my working space with the mat. Step number one, let's unbox this cookie aka let's see if it came in in one piece or all broken up. Like actually it did happen in the past. Oh okay this one is actually <laughs> <laughs> upside down inside out oh okay but good thing cookie came in in one piece Whew. inside of this box we also have some gummy candies as well as red and white icing so here is the design I made yesterday and this is so unprofessional somebody literally put their cup on top of my design we will need lots and lots of fondant to create Mary's dress wow even though i had this fondant out of the fridge for two whole days it's like rock <laughs> so i'll have to smoosh it for quite a while to make it nice and soft and manageable here it is it's definitely softer now i can roll it and i'll answer most common questions about our original gingerbread man uh, cookies Question number one that we get asked so often. Are all the ingredients that I use to decorate the cookie edible? Yes, they are. I use edible markers, I use candies, I use frosting, food gels. Everything is edible. Even fondant, even though it looks like clay of some sort. But yes, it is edible. That's what people use to decorate the cakes. And question number two. Do we eat our gingerbread man cookie character creations? And the answer is no. First of all, I do not want to eat them because it literally takes me two days to create one of these cookies, starting from finding the ingredients and then preparation, mixing all the colors and then making the cookie, editing the video. And secondly, I don't eat sugar. It's my personal lifestyle choice. I love making them, but I do not eat them. Okay, so here's the bottom of her dress as well as the apron and if you're wondering this is just uh, the base I like to put under because if I don't do so the fondant will drip down now let's go ahead and use more fondant for her corset as well as color from her cape Now let's go ahead and place these pieces on top of our cookie and hope that they fit. I think they fit pretty good. <laughs> I'm going to cut some extra pieces. The corset looks great and these two pieces of the collar are gonna go on top a little bit later. It's time to start adding colorful frosting. Let's go ahead and start with this tan collar and add it to her skirt. Next, I'm taking my baking tool and spreading the frosting. Taking this dark burgundy frosting and adding it to her apron. Same step, spreading this delicious frosting evenly. For her corset, I will be using this cherry red frosting color. Mm -hmm. 
It looks a little bit messy, but no worries because now I will be using this copper color to add her sleeves and shirt under and I'll clean up all the areas that need some fixing. Now I'm taking this tool and trying to fix everything and shape and then I'm taking my flat tool and just spreading frosting a little bit more. Now I can go ahead and place these two collar pieces. I'll be using the same cherry red color to fill them in. Taking my little shaping tool and spreading the frosting, filling in all the white spots. Time for the fun part. We are going to be adding candies. The bottom of Mary's dress has some kind of design that is different from her skirt and from her apron. So I will be using these stars and add design with them. Next, Mary has two purple pockets on her apron. For the pockets, I will be using these pearly purple candies. Next, I'm going to take a quick pause from the candies and add a black and a red stripe to her skirt. I'll be using these two gels. And now adding a red gel. Next I'm going to decorate the center of her corset with these orange candies. And it's a super delicate procedure. For the clip that connects her cape I'll be using this orange bed. Alright, let's continue. So I do not have any candies that shaped as these rings. Instead I am going to be using the orange pumpkins. Next I'll be using these red pearly candies to decorate the collar around. This part is finished for now. Next, let's go ahead and add her skin color. Just like Sarah, Mary also has spider webs on her shoulders. And instead of spider webs, I am going to put some spiders. I think we should add one more right there. And one more here. Okay, Mary looks great. Let's put her aside because we will need to use more fondant for her eyes and her hair. I rolled this piece of fondant, but now I almost want to shape it instead of cutting it out. She has that nice squiggly hair piece that goes up kind of like this. Okay, and just going to add a little texture. And I think we should be able to Place this piece of fondant now on top of the cookie. Let's go ahead and cut out the shape of her eyes. Alright, let's place the eyes on her face. Little chocolate button nose in the center of her face. Next, Mary has brown eyes, so I'm putting these two brown chocolate candies. First, we need to use a little bit of this icing gel so we can glue the eyeballs. Using the same black gel for her brows. It's so much harder to use my left hand. I am right-handed. And I'm really struggling sometimes to make designs on the left side. Okay, same gel I will be using for her lashes. Same black gel gonna go in the center of her eye. My hands are covered in candy dye, but anyways, I'll be using one of these white sprinkles for the light reflection. And before we do her hair, we are going to add her famous smile. 
Also, lots of Hocus Pocus fans noticed that in Hocus Pocus 2, her lips look this way. The original Hocus Pocus, when her lips were looking the other way. I had to do my research and I found out that, first of all, the crooked smile was something she improvised while preparing to shoot the 1993 movie. And the reason it's on the other side, mainly because it's so hard for her to do it on the side, she did on 30 years ago. I'll be using this red sparkle gel and since the original movie is classic at this point, in my opinion, I'm going to make her lips look like in the original movie. And she also has a freckle under her her nose. Alright, now since we finished with her facial features, let's move on to her hair. Here is the fondant for her hair. I'm going to place it right here like that. Perfect base. And now I am going to be using uh, this purple color frosting and add a few hair strands as well as paint the rest of her hairdo. Oh yes, her hair turned out perfect. So I think she has hanging earrings, so I'll be using these spiders. And I'm going to add these pumpkins to the bottom. It took me four hours to transform this giant gingerbread man cookie into Mary. So please click the like button if you think I did a good job transforming this gingerbread man cookie into Mary Sanderson. Leave me a comment below and let me know which out of these uh, three gingerbread man cookies is your favorite cookie witch. And thank you so much for watching. See you soon. Bye.